that bridge right here. We're X2K San Francisco doing the FMX thing on GT along with Cameron Steele. We got Jerry Bernardo down in the dirt and 16,000 and some change of our favorite moto heads. Travis Pastrana is the story right now, followed by Clowers and Jonesy. What's up, Cameron? The freestyle freaks are in the house. The young kid, 18 years old, Carl Morrison, he took a spot and vacated by the godfather, Mike Mesker, who decides this morning not to ride. Colin is right now not making it through into the finals. This is our second round of competition. The best of your two runs are going to stick. Colin needs a big one here. The good news for Morrison is he likes to be at the top of the order and uh, showing it right there. It's really unusual, Colin, he rides a 125, one of the very few riders to do that, but yet he still wants to go out and challenge, he jumps first every time he goes out. The 85 foot gap right in front of us on the scaffolding, Colin not able to get a trick off, that's going to be kind of tough for his score. Up and over on that POV, he needs to use the whole course, hit all the jumps, here he comes to the big 90. Twitch! That was a beautifully executed twitch, now he rides with twitch Jeremy Stenberg all the time, Colin throwing a heel clicker, what a great view right there, the POV camera, Colin elected to use a lot of the ramps on the course, and a big no-hander to no-hander, yeah! we haven't seen that yet today, Colin busts down, he does want to make it through this competition to the final, that's 75 feet, to a no-handed lander. I first started riding with Colin. He was about 13 years old. He was out racing, and we were doing some freestyle tricks back when I thought I was cool. Now I know I'm not. Colin, one of the coolest cats on the tour, at 18, a veteran with a great Superman seat grab. Stretching it out there. The judges are looking for that full extension on those Superman. All the articulation and the moves are just high. This is his last big hit. You heard the horn go off. Oh, a little variation there. He throws his feet up like a stick fish but clicks the front fender like a candy bar. Colin Morrison, our first rider of round two. Coming straight at you, no hands, no hand and ladder. He is torn! Oh, he got seven on that for sure. And then the stale fish extension with the Bay Bridge in the background. The kid is good. He didn't nail every trick, but you can see the focus. Superman C grab looking right at you. Morrison comes through with an 82.67. His first run will stick, but it'll keep him in 12th place. 12th place. Ouch! This man, Chris Ward, currently tied in 8th place. Silver medalist in step up, and he just went 90 feet. That's officially on the bubble, I think. When you're tied for 8th, the last transfer spot, you really want to make something good happen. Chris throwing a no-footer there, maybe looking for the heel click. Chris rides for Fox and Oakley, somewhat of a lazy boy there, but not getting the extension he's looking for. The judges are looking for style, difficulty, execution, use of this course. A lot of different opportunities on this course. Here he goes. Speaking of use of course, he comes up a little long and sideways on the little setup jump with the knack that has to reset for the big 90 footer. Tries to do two different tricks, almost like a combo. Doesn't hit either one of them. Over the bar right there, it's Saran Wrap style. The Saran Wrap extension touching the front fender. Rourke with. The rodeo. Now, last year, Travis Pastrana, the only rider to do that. A couple guys have picked on it. Rourke has it down in his bag of tricks. Rourke running it from Idaho, stretching it out, Indian Air. Getting a couple good tricks here towards the end of his run. Now, maybe this is what the judges will remember. They may be writing down what he did in the beginning, but leaving an impression on the judges has to help. Rourke coming with the heel clicker. Multiple heel clicks in this run. You don't want to repeat a trick. It's a knock against your scoring. Rourke unable to really get some new stuff going. Double up on a couple of moves right there. Also, that mishap on that go-round on the 90-footer earlier in the run. Rourke's not off the top of his game right now. You see Chris looking down. He's taking off his up. He's a little disappointed, not real stoked with that run. Even on the last jump where he doesn't get a trick off, it's pretty pretty radical seeing that Bay uh, Bridge in the back right 90 better. feet. They're about 40 feet in the air. Yeah, his first run was certainly better. Hey, he already has a silver in the step-up competition. He's running burgers! Grabbing the center of the handlebar, throwing the heel click, arm back like he's riding a bullet, but it's only a 250-pounder. Hey, Dane's double right there in the Jumbotron! Checking himself out, going by with the bay in the background. And Rourke runs an 83. He's still tied for eighth place off of his first round run. I think the first round was a little better. We're going to be right back in the X Games sandbox with all the FMX rock stars turning up to 11 next.